So you stayed at three and a half with that trout tricks. I did. Okay. Yep. So we're still running the downrigger rod. We're running a top line rod with just a hair of weight and three and a half colors on that pink trout tricks. Pete's got the first fish of the day. Get the skunk off. I'm gonna go do a little steelhead in here on Wednesday, so we didn't want to go into that with the skunk. on the middle ride, Mike. What are you running there? I am running that uh, Hoochie. More plastic, huh? Yep, with a uh, spinning glow um, and a uh, dodger. And that's got weight on it or no? No. That was long line behind the boat. What did you say? What was it? 175 feet? Doesn't look like a bad fish, though. That just looks like a bad reel with this fucking <laughs> Two fish for Pete. So this is the run I'm running little flat or dodger like that. And then about a 16 inch leader with a hoochie with a spinning glue on it. With that fire gel on that anise. The stink gel, that's what you should call that. So I'm running that spoon right there, and it's an odd shape. It's called a Ridgeback, I think, from uh, FHS Tackle. And I'm running that on a short fluorocarbon leader. This is my downrigger rod, so it's a 9.6 Talon Kokanee rod, 4 to 8. And I'm running it 145 feet back behind the boat. So we're fishing fairly close to the surface here. So we got the same rod, essentially. It's an excellent, excellent downrigger rod. It does have, you know, you get some backbone down here in the bottom of it, but it's a fairly slow action. And he's running a 163 convector, and I'm running a 100 Lex, a very comparable, similar wheel. Oh, should I hit a hit on it right there? Unless you hit my line. I think I'm clear of your line. I think I hit a hit right there. Not bad. Not bad trout today, Mike. Oh, buddy, that's close to the limit. That's four, right? Yep. Not bad at all for this lake. So Mike just had a monster takedown on that. Mike, what are you running? It's a FHS Ridgeback Spoon, and it's kind of a lime, neon lime and chartreuse. I just went to that chartreuse because that's what you picked that up on, on that spinning globe. And you're top lining that how far back were you? I top lined it at 145 feet back, so it's not far below the surface. That spoon will sink a little bit because it's got some weight to it, but I can't really estimate how deep it was. I'm sure you could see it if you could. There is that, there is that spoon. Oh, Not a bad trout either. He's, he's active, I got him. Spinning glow strikes again. And right by the boat. Yeah, I know. I can. Clear here for a bit. The downside of that top line fishing is you're a long ways out there. Yeah, 175 feet. Oh, it just came off right there. You get him? Oh, yeah. What were you running and how far were you running it? So, I was running a gold pinhead from Fish Hunt Shoot, and I was 154 feet back. So, 
uh, about three and a quarter colors.